This is Cheryl Arias Wicker with Christian Movie Connect, and we are with David Mullins, who is producing a movie called Ragamuffin, who is, uh, which is about your brother, Rich Mullins. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, tell me why you decided uh, to do this movie. I mean, I know that he is someone who has touched people's lives in such an incredible way. So why now have you decided to do this? Yeah. Well, Dave Schultz, the director and the guy who headed up the, the project, uh, came to me about four years ago. And really the, the reason for the project was um, he just kind of told me his story of how God had used Rich to impact his life and uh, get him through some really dark times. And um, he was like, if, if that story had that impact on him, he felt like it still would on other people. And he said, you know, if I was a painter, I'd want to paint. If I was a writer, I'd want to write about this. I do film stuff. So I, I my dream is to make a movie. So, so that started a, about a four-year process uh, in which... Uh, we walked through a lot of things and uh, came out with Ragamuffin, yeah. Okay. So who actually wrote the story? Um, it Dave Schultz uh, was one of the writers, and then the principal writer was uh, Ashley um, Phillips. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, And I'm sure you probably had a lot of input on that, you know, to, to make sure that that story was captured properly. Yeah, yeah. Dave uh, had, had me uh, representing our family uh, involved from from the get-go, uh, just dealing with, they'd work on scripts, send it to me, I'd read it, send it to my family, get some feedback, we'd send it back and say, hey, here's some things, uh, and so yeah, it was, the script writing was probably, I would say, a year, a year and a half in the process, so yeah, it was a long process. Uh, and I'm sure you were probably involved in the casting as well, tell me how it was going through the casting of finding someone to represent your brother. Yeah, I, I was involved in that um, just in the kind of later stages. Dave Dave and Ashley and some of the other people were more involved early on, and they sent me three or four. Uh, and it was just, yeah, the Mike, I thought, did a good job of, he kind of has an essence that I thought felt like like Rich. Uh, and so, so that's, yeah, yeah, that was kind of one of the keys was, uh, you know, we wanted somebody that was an artist that could play and sing and do that live, you know, in the moment instead of voiceovers or anything like that. So, uh, and I thought Mike did a great job and sounded enough like him that it's, it, it reminds you of him. Uh, so, and, and I thought, yeah, that essence was, Mike did a great job with it. So. Okay. And for people who aren't familiar with who that is, that's Mike Cook. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, very good. And, um, so where, what part of his story, uh, where do you start with this and what part of the story do you tell? Yeah, we kind of tell, uh, uh, most of life it's he probably starts at about six years old and goes through the accident uh so probably 35 years or so uh, of time uh and it, and it really just kind of focuses in on uh some of the inner things some of the insecurities and and wounds that he had and how god had worked through it i, I think to to bring him to completion so yeah. so uh when it, where is it going to be released and when can people see it well, right now it's uh, we're doing a kind of a national tour through churches uh, and some colleges and different things like that, and that will go through uh, early May, um, and it'll probably be released uh, through. It's Millennium Entertainment is our distributor for the DVD and Blu-ray, uh, and that'll come out in early May. So, and we're finalizing some details about the that distribution. So, we also may be doing a limited theatrical release uh, shortly before the DVD comes out. So. Okay. Great. And uh, to find out information about the movie, the website? Yeah, they can go to, um, on Facebook, uh, Rich Mullins Movie, uh, or I think ragamuffinthemovie.com. So. Okay, great. Well, tell me, how does it feel, you know, because when you finally were able to see the finished product, how did it feel to you and your family to see this? Uh, you know, I, I think I think Dave and the whole team did a, did a great job of, of telling a, a really, really true story um the the challenge is you're taking 35 years and squishing it to a little over two hours uh and so there's things that aren't balanced and there's things that you know you go oh man i wish this oh this doesn't capture that uh but uh but i, I think it's real i think they did a great job with it so what are you hoping that people will get from it when they see the movie ultimately i hope that people will get uh, a sense of the amazing love of god um that that um 
wherever they are in life, that there's a God who created them and who loves them uh, and who loves them enough to walk with them through their brokenness to, to find healing, even when it's a messy process. Very, so nice to meet you. And nice I cannot to wait to see the movie because I just know Rich's mu uh, music has touched so many lives. So it's, it's going to be good, I know. So thank, thank you. you so much. And thank you for joining us today on Christianity Connect. Tune in again next week. This is Cheryl Wicker. Have a good day. Thank you.